for the past 10 years I've been ministering to Christians with uh, oppressions like depression, anxiety, panic attacks, PTSD, and obviously other oppressions as well. There are many oppressions out there, um, fear and so forth. So there's, there's many uh, what we call oppressions. But people have asked me uh, over the past 10 years, what's the magic bullet? What's the secret? And uh, what's the best prayer to pray? And the, 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 the real, there are some principles that, that you absolutely need to get a hold of. And that's what I'm going to try and do here over a series of videos. There are short videos. Uh, the, uh, the complete video teaching is on Christian Health for Depression. But these are short introduction videos as to the main principles that as a Christian you must get a hold of. Uh, again, this is the God way. This is the, this is the Bible way. This is the way that our Father in Heaven has set this up through the finished work of His Son. And they're critical to understand these things and these principles. And it's, you know, for some reason, there are other people that preach this, but it's, for some reason it's not that familiar, it's not that popular out there. And it's, they're, they're critical, especially if you're going to come out of an oppression. It's critical to do it the God way. Not the Frank Sinatra way, you do it, we'll do it my way. And that's what I see a lot of people trying to do. They're trying to fight based on their understanding. You know, that's not going to work. You're going you're gonna to fight based on the scriptures. It is written. Jesus gave us those instructions when he was dealing with the enemy. And we must come back to that. What is written? How has God set this up? We don't want to do it your way. We don't want to lean on our own understanding. We want to lean and we want to depend on the Word of God. And that is where freedom is at. Freedom is in the Word of God. So we're going to go through some basic principles here, a series of uh, short videos. The main videos are you'll, you can find on, on Christian Health for Depression. Uh, but we'll go through some of these principles uh, uh, you know, in, short, in a short video series here. And I would suggest you start with this one and go through the rest of them. Uh, if you're interested in coming, I believe I'm making these videos. I, I, I have worked with a lot of people around the world. People come to me through the Christian Health for Depression and other websites that I've had over the years. And they're always asking. It's basically we go through the same thing. So I believe by watching these videos, that you can actually get yourself set free. I'll set it up here where you can go through these steps. And if you go through these steps based on the Word of God, not based on my wisdom, that's the thing. It's not, you know, it's not human wisdom here. We're talking about supernatural wisdom. We're talking about revelation from the Holy Spirit. We're talking about actually working with Jesus through His living Word. And that's what makes a difference. That's why I don't like to say I'm a, I'm a counselor because... You know that's not that's not what I, what I'm really at. I, I, what I really do is I'm not against Christian counseling, but what I'm what I'm doing is I'm ministering from the Word of God. We're letting the Word of God, the the, the written Word, the Word from Jesus, which is alive, minister to you, and that is that. Produ I've seen this over ten years. That produces real freedom. And again, there's guarantees here from the finished work of Jesus that you will come out. That's a guarantee. If you don't quit, the guarantee is the finished work of Jesus guarantees you victory. And that's what we're going to go through here. That's what we're going to start talking about. So, the first principle, one of the first important principles, and there are a number of them, but we'll go through we'll go through them here one by one. To be resubmitted, we must believe what has been accomplished in the finished work and what Jesus spoke to us. If Jesus said I've come to give you abundant life, if he said I've come to set the captives free, if he said uh, in Colossians through Paul that you've been delivered out of the kingdom of darkness this is all t has to do with his finished work right this is done so from God's perspective this is done and that's what sometimes w we get fooled by and our reason again our reason fights this uh, how can it be done if I'm having all these uh, issues and these symptoms well that's what you got you've got to this is not you don't believe in your mind you believe in your heart you know, you believe in your spirit, you believe in your heart. Then your mind gets renewed. That's what needs to happen here. You need to get your mind renewed. So that's what this is all about. Renewing your mind to line up, to submit to God. You must believe what he said. I say that and people, sometimes they're astonished at how simple yet how profound that is. But again, if you're going to submit to God, it says submit to God, resist the devil and he'll flee. If you don't, if, and again, I spend a lot of time in submitting to God. If you don't believe what, how God has set this up through the finished work of his son, you're not submitted to God. And I don't believe that the enemy is going to take much notice of you because you're not fighting on what's written. People tell me all the time they've been fighting for a number of years. I say, what are you fighting on? They're, they're saying they're, 
that they're crying out to God, which we'll talk, to, talk about that. They're actually begging God or asking him to do something that he's already done. So that's what we're talking about here. We're asking God to do something that he's already done, the finished work. And a lot of Christians do this. We keep begging for God to take this away. And that's not how the New Testament sets this up. There's nothing in the New Testament that talks about us begging God to take it away. There's nothing, there's nothing there that relates to that. The New Testament is all about the finished work of Jesus Christ has already taken it away. You've already been set free. He has finished the work. Now, we have to fight based on that finished work. And the beautiful thing is, where the hope is, and this is a, this is a phenomenal hope from the Gospel, this is why they call it good news, that you're guaranteed to come out. Now again, it's a fight. It's not a quick prayer. That's another thing we want to look at. There is a way to pray here. We're going to talk about that, but it's not a quick prayer. It's not. This is renewing your mind, which takes time. It takes time to get rid of all the lies. It takes time to renew the mind. We're talking about changing underlying beliefs. That's why I like the uh, cognitive behavioral therapy CPT. I'm I'm okay with that. A lot of psychiatrists use that, which is fine. But they don't use the Word of God with it. And the Word of God is what can really change your underlying beliefs and what can really renew your mind. So we're talking about don't ask God to do something He's already done. The first fundamental principle. It is critical and it's a mind changer. This is, this is a, when you change your mindset and line up the way God has set this up, then you're, you're on a platform, on a foundation where you can fight and you will win. I keep emphasizing that. We listen to my videos, you'll hear that all the time. You will win. The, the finished work of Jesus Christ is a guarantee that if you're a captive, you've already been set free. And if you fight, the door is open, you'll walk out of that prison door. It's, you know, that the path is believing and trusting in Jesus and trusting the Word of God. So we all want God to take these, you know, problems away. We've all done this. We've all called out to God and says, God, please take this away. And uh, a lot of times that prayer isn't answered because it's not really scriptural. It's not really submitted to God. It's not submitted to the finished work. So we must change that. And we must change the way we pray, which we'll, we'll, we'll talk about how, how you change your prayer to line up with this. Um... But faith demands and our Father in Heaven wants us to use what we've been given. Uh, we've been given. Jesus has completed this work for us. Jesus has the victory over the enemy. We, we know that in Luke 10, 19, we have all power over, over all the power of the enemy. Jesus says, all power has been given unto me. So through the finished work of Jesus and for us to overcome through what has already been done, and we must not ask heaven for things that have been done through the finished work. We must not ask God to do something that he's already done. This is really submitting to God. And this is a real mindset change. When you grab a hold of this, it is amazing. This is a mind changer. And it'll give you, it'll put you in a place, people always ask me about it, they've got no hope, they're in a hopeless place. Um, hopelessness is a horrible place. But this brings hope. When you realize, if you're, a, when you're, if you're a Christian, that the finished work of Jesus Christ guarantees you victory, you know, what better hope is there than that? And it does. Jesus has said, I've come to set the captives free. Well, has he done that? And if you're a Christian, it's easy to believe that. You know Jesus. If you're not a Christian, go to Christian Hell for Depression and click on How to Be a Christian and you, we'll, we'll walk you through the How to Be a Christian. Uh, very simple, just believing in Jesus Christ and believing in what he's done. But if, you, if you're a Christian, it's fairly easy. Once you know, it's what you need, what you need is knowledge. And then you need faith and then you need to submit to that, that knowledge and then act on it. But the faith part is, is not a huge issue. Once you realize that this is how God set it up, that Jesus has already set you free, it's not that difficult to come and say yes. And you just you, what you do is say, yes, my, I, I, I believe in my heart and speak with my mouth. I'm going to believe this. I'm going to start speaking this way. And I'm going to line up to God the proper way and submit to him. Now that you're submitted, you can resist the devil and they will flee. That's the guarantee again. They're all guarantees in James 4.7. And we'll talk about, in the next video here, we're going to talk about, in the next series here, we're going to talk about how to line your prayer up to change the way we pray and change what, what, how, how we pray. And that's what we're going to do next in the next video here. And some of these videos are, on, are free on YouTube. Uh, some of them are. But the complete version can be purchased uh, at christianhelfordepression.org. And that's the complete full version to a lot of these teachings. We do a quick summary, and if this is helping you, I would suggest you go and get the uh, the complete versions on Christian Health for Depression. 
And there are a lot of additional teachings on the purchase version that are not on YouTube. And we also include MP3s there. And also the book, there's a, a book that uh, we wrote here some time ago about freedom from depression. And uh, that's also on there. And we don't provide CDs or DVDs. You can download these uh, movies, these teachings onto your tablets or iPhones. And uh, you can also watch them online. But we don't provide DVDs or, or CDs.